thinking about bands because this is a good place to think about them really in, in this show and a good band I suppose there's always a good drummer in a in a good band so it's they're like a house and the drummer is the foundations the bass guitarist is the brickwork and the guitarist is the roof and I think the lead singer is the front door and in the case of the Rolling Stones with a very large letterbox. It's just a theory I knocked up there. I hope you liked it. Um, on the way here, I got a taxi down here today, and uh, I, I sort of, sometimes I sort of go into character if I've been watching Clint Eastwood, or, you know, on film or something. And uh, I sort of had a Clint Eastwood feel about me today, and I hailed a taxi with a slight gesture, and I got in. I said, "Let's burn some rubber, buddy." And he gave me quite a funny look. He said, look, he said, uh, don't tell me to burn rubber. He said, what are you talking about? I said, well, I said, just nip along then. I said, oh, you know, I want to get to broadcasting house. And he said, uh, I'm my own man. And uh, we started having a discussion on w what it means to be your own man. I mean, what does it mean to be your own man or be your own woman? I mean, you are your own man because you, you own what you are, which if you're a man is a man. And you're, you're, you're that own person, aren't you? If you understand what I'm trying to say. But he, he got a bit upset about it all and uh, we got to broadcasting house. And I said, how much is the fare? He said, 350. And I gave him exactly 350 and he gave me that, where's my tip look? And I said, uh, when it comes to tips, I said, I'm my own man and I don't give them. And I burnt a bit of rubber myself. I burnt my shoe rubber getting into Broadcasting House because he chased me in his taxi. And it's still wedged in the main doors down there now. No, they're not really. I made that up. Just a little fantasy, really. Also, I was burgled. I did Edinburgh Festival last year, and I got burgled. When I got back, I lost all my hi-fi, or in my case, sort of lo-fi, really. It wasn't that good a system. And I got the, the burglars came back and they took my whole flat last week. But they didn't take the floor, so I've got somewhere to sleep. OK, then I'm going to finish up now. And also, I'd like to warn you that I'm going to do a little blues uh, harp piece. That's a mouth organ. I expect you all knew that. And a John Peel impression introducing it. And that's the sort of surprise that's going to come later on. Well, thank you very much indeed. Norman Lovett, then, who, as he says, will, uh, will in fact be joining us just a little bit later on. Um, downstairs in the basement, though, now, who, who probably missed most of Norman's act, actually, because she was uh, running down the stairs, somebody who I'm sure also wishes she had a bit of a Clint Eastwood feel about her today.